All right, picture this, a photo the size of a building, and guess what? It actually really exists, no. and it's right here in Riverside. The photographer tells KTLA's Dave Malkoff it's the biggest photograph in the world. We've only uncreated this thing one time. These days, we measure photographs in tiny megapixels. <laughs> six people to roll it down. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. This mega photo, however, is better measured in skyscraper terms. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. It's 11 stories wide. Is this the bottom? Is this the bottom? Three stories tall. We need to get this crate out of the way, roll the thing out, flip it around, and roll it back in. And the camera that took it? We have to hang it like a shower curtain is bigger. We took an airplane hanger and basically made a giant uh, pinhole camera. My name is Tyler Stallings. The California Museum of Photography has one of the largest collection, camera collections. The camera in your phone, in your pocket, and all of its grandparents are essentially based on an ancient technique called the pinhole camera. Any dark box with a hole in it will create an image. Douglas McCullough, I'm a photographer, one of the legacy project artists. Douglas and his photo friends were basically given the keys to the closed Del Toro Marine Base in Irvine. Unprecedented action access to a gigantic closed military base. Well, most people would use a shoebox to build a pinhole camera. It's the earliest technology for making images. They used an abandoned F-18 jet hangar. We put together kind of a timeline, a couple of months. One, they had like $8,000 and they thought, well, that's going to be enough money. It took us nine months. We spent $65,000. Nowadays, you capture that image in a different way. You use a digital chip. They used a huge canvas covered in a substance called liquid light. So they painted that on with rollers. Opened a tiny hole in the blacked out hanger and exposed the film for a half hour. We had one shot at this. It's not like you take the film down to Costco and, oh, it didn't work out, I'll reshoot it. This was one shot. That one shot worked. The base captured as it was in stunning size and detail. Try not to fold it like that. Once people start taking digital stills of it, the circle of photography is complete. There's the horizon line. It's a giant negative that requires two forklifts and a 40-foot truck to move, and it's a digital positive, too. One big, expensive shot that makes you appreciate how far photography has come. In Riverside, Dave Malkoff, KTLA 5 News. That is incredible. It's a big picture. <laughs> it certainly is. In every is. way. <laughs>